All right, hi everybody out there in YouTube land. Do you remember a time before the internet? I sure do. And back in the day when we used to play video games, it was very difficult to actually beat video games. We didn't have the internet to go to for maps and cheats and things like that. We had to use human ingenuity. Well, for the most part. We had human ingenuity and boom, we had Nintendo Power. That's right, Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power was the go-to guide on how to beat certain games. And if you were a subscriber to Nintendo Power, you got the inside scoop on how to beat games. And this was very important because remember, there was no internet back in the day. So we got things like full maps. You can see this game, The Empire Strike ba Strikes Back, a full map right here. This was unheard of back in the early 90s, mid 90s, and late 80s. You could not get this type of information anywhere because the internet did not exist. So Nintendo held all the cards, so to speak. So did Sega and things like that. And Sega actually attempted to put magazines out, but they weren't near as good as Nintendo Power. There was actually knockoffs of Nintendo Power that came and went that were never as good, and we're going to discuss why. Nintendo Power was the first of its kind. It originally came out, I believe, with the Super Mario 2 episode, which was amazingly awesome. Now, a lot of these people on YouTube have full things of Nintendo Power, full sets that go all the way from now all the way back into the day. I don't have that. What I have are the remains of my Nintendo Power collection, which we'll view now. This is the most complete example that I have. <clears throat> this is the Legend of Zelda Link to the Past episode. I actually used to take this with me to school in my backpack because it was so awesome. We'll discuss why. First of all, if you ever got super stuck on a game, you could call this number right here, which actually still works, by the way, and you could get tips on how to beat games. On top of that, you had basic Nintendo advertisements for the crappy Super Scope. You had a nice handy guide that told you what pages the game you wanted were on. And, of course, as it went on, you had things from Nintendo Power fans, costumes they'd dress up in, artwork they'd make, things like that. So you had public involvement as well. And stories that showed how much exactly gamers kicked their games' asses from time to time. So, as we go through, like I said before, full maps and full keys. This was amazing. This was unheard of at the time. That's what made this magazine revolutionary. Another thing that was really awesome in this was Nintendo Power had a section called Classified Information. This gave you cheats in the game on how to do certain things. Codes and glitches where you could get extra crap if you really needed it. So, like, for instance, this one right here, if you put a code in, you could start at a different location. Or this cheat, for example, where you could uh, use a bolt of lightning at a specific point in the game, Act Razor, and you could get a one-up life on it. These are just the little types of information that were put in Nintendo Power that made it awesome. And like I said back in the day, there was absolutely no internet, so nobody knew these except people who worked for Nintendo. I mean, look at this cheat, for instance. You guys remember the SimCity game, right? You could burn down your entire airport except for two sections bulldoze it, build stuff around it, and still have a fully functioning airport. Who knew, but that's what this game, this, but that's what this magazine provided, which made it awesome as hell. Another cool thing that Nintendo Power always had was little stories in it. It first started out with Mario, then it started, then it went to Zelda, then it went to Metroid, if I remember, so then Star Fox, and it progressed through a series of popular games, and I have no idea what it is now. But it actually had Zelda comics. You couldn't get this anywhere. And they masked the game. They were basically taken right out of the game, put into comic form for your enjoyment. So if you had played the game, you enjoyed it. And if you hadn't played it yet, you had something to look forward to. See, also, on top of that, see, here's the Mario cartoon. This is another cartoon that was featured in Nintendo Power. And you usually had one to two, sometimes even three of these running simultaneously in each episode. Nevertheless, the biggest part of this particular magazine, this particular one we have, was this right here. This was classic, and this, as far as I'm concerned, is almost historical. This is the Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past issue of Nintendo Power. Now, A Legend of Zelda was obviously one of the best games ever produced, but the Link to the Past game was revolutionary as far as any system was concerned at the time. And this gave you a detailed guide of every item in the game. I mean, look at that. It gave you a detail on how to use it, what it did, and, believe it or not, where it came from. Furthermore, on top of that, it gave you this. The most detailed guided map to The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past that has pretty much ever been seen, except if you were playing the game and about to beat it. Now, the unfortunate thing about this is it didn't show the dark world, but what it did show is breakdowns of regions in the light world. And so you could see where every single 
secret was, where it was in town, where it was on the game, and that way you could collect every single thing. This is what made Nintendo Power great, is you knew the secrets, you knew the patterns of the game, and you knew where to find everything before anybody else in the world did. And subscribing to this magazine right here gave you an edge over almost anyone. And that's what made Nintendo Power great. Because once again, before the age of the internet, most of the people were ignorant and in the dark about this type of thing. Now, every Nintendo Power was basically the same. I have different Nintendo Powers with the covers ripped off and stuff. And they pretty much look the same. And, oh, every Nintendo Power also had these little inlays in them. See, so this is like Batman the Animated Series. This was awesome. Each magazine had these out. Now, stupidly, I cut every one of them out except for this one, I believe, maybe another one of them, and put them up on my walls like most kids did. But if you actually have the whole set of Nintendo Power with these still inside, you may actually get some money out of them. So, once again, Nintendo Power was revolutionary for its time. Uh, if you get a chance out there and you can find some of these old magazines, pick them up. They are collector's items. I recommend attempting to get a whole set of them. But that's just me. So, so until next time, keep thinking about the past because remember, sometimes memories are all we have.